right, so two weeks ago I posted this picture on Facebook. This is the root system for my cabbage that I'm growing in my Fogponic Tower Garden. People wanted to know more about exactly how I grew it and how the top of the plant looked. So in this video, I wanna check out the root system of that cabbage two weeks later, and I also wanna talk with you guys about my journey growing that completely fogponically and how I made my Fogponic Tower Garden. First, the garden. I built this fogponic tower, but really it's more like a fogponic arch. The idea was to divert the fog through one tube, then back to the reservoir through the other, keeping the fog constantly moving and delivering fresh air. Also, even when the fogger is off, this fan is running, delivering the oxygen to the roots. And as I learned, that was necessary to see growth at all. And here's why. So the success or failure of fogponics is really all down to the droplet size. NASA did a study back in the 90s that determined that 50 microns is the ideal droplet size for aeroponic farming, but the ultrasonic foggers are putting out 3 to 5 microns, which are just absolutely microscopic droplets of water. The problem there is whenever you release these in mass quantity in a small chamber, it literally suffocates the roots. They're essentially choking on the air, or lack thereof, because it's all been replaced by microscopic water droplets. I'm 50 shades of graying my plants. So finding a source for the proper PPM for fogponic gardens is all over the place. The first one I found was someone saying that 200 and nothing more than that is what you need for your plants. And so I did that for a couple weeks and I didn't see any growth. So I just went for it. I actually turned it all the way up to 1200. My roots actually were, were really healthy. Um, there was some stuff happening in the water and my fogger started developing a little more residue quicker. I had to clean it. I had to clean the ceramic plate off more frequently. Um, but the real problem was any leaking fog that hit any leaves, they got burnt from the, the, the high level of nutrients in the water. So then I took it back to 800 ppm. And that's what I've been settling at right now. That's what I've been at for about three weeks now. And that's where I've seen the best growth. I haven't seen any damage to the fogger or the roots. Um, so yeah, 800 ppm has been working for me. I mean, I can see 100% why people do the fogponic DWC setups. Um, so much easier to grow stuff in and see results. I really wanted to just create that chamber to see the, the fuzzy aeroponic roots. All right, so now I can't wait any longer. It's been about two weeks. Let's check the roots of this cabbage plant and see where we're at. So this root mass, it has, we can see some hairs on the bottom there. But what I'm noticing the most is that it's just totally taken the shape of the tube and the discoloration as it goes down tells me that the fog isn't making its way through the root system because it's too dense. So it's just a sponge here now at the top. I'm just afraid that, uh, that it might get worse. I don't know. I'm gonna put it back in there and we're gonna see. We'll do an update. Oh, almost dropped out. 